Hey folks, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel. Uh, so we're going to do another Halloween project. And we are going to make this. Uh, just a Halloween corner decoration that you can use on a door frame or a picture frame or anything with a 90 degree angle. Uh, and recently, I made a short video on how to create a bat vector from scratch. And this is what it looked like. Now, we're not going to use this one. Uh, we're going to go out to defont.com and grab a font that is composed of characters. And then you'll be able to use any of those characters for your Halloween projects as it's 100% uh, free. So we're going to delete this. And uh, it's best to have extra options. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to go to defont.com. You want to go over to the right and click the Halloween selection under holiday. Here in the preview, you can type anything because it's just going to show you what the characters look like. Uh, go over to size. This doesn't always matter, but sometimes it does. So I always just select large, leave it sorted by popularity. Go to more options and select 100% free. And you'll note that it selects public domain. I think it's always a good idea to just make sure uh, that it, it is free for use so you won't have to worry about someone coming back and saying you use their font improperly. So after you select that, you want to click Submit. And we are going to go, I believe it's on the second page. We're looking for one called Monster Mash by Woodcutter. It's really good that folks do this. It is really helpful for us woodcutters. It's down here somewhere. Monster Mash, this one here. And if you click on you could download it now, but if you will click on it, then you can see what each letter represents. And then you can select any of these and there are vectors that you can save and put in your art library and use them anytime you like. Uh, I believe we are going to use the small letter O here for this bat. Okay, so you can uh, download here. And once you download, I've got it downloaded already. You'll get a folder called Monster Mash Zip. Just right click and extract with whatever program you may have. You'll get this folder, open the folder, you'll get a single true type font, right click and install. And once you install, it'll be made available to, uh, to Lightburn. Uh, Lightburn doesn't, all, doesn't come with any fonts at all. It just inherits whatever's on your computer or whatever new ones you download and add it. Okay, so we're gonna go to the text tool and we're using the small letter O. And now we have our bat. We're going to put a, we're going to set the bat on a moon. So just grab a circle, hold shift, draw out a moon. Click the selector tool. And I believe we want this about, just leave your lock on up top and make it 130 millimeters or somewhere around 5 inches then we'll take our bat since it's on the corner we set it here on the left it'll kind of help counterbalance uh, we want to make sure what we have is not going to fall off of the corner and we're going to put a little tab on it to to help it be more stable. So we'll set our bat here and we want to get rid of those eyes because this is going to be the backdrop. So we're just going to grab a copy of this. Let me see how large that is. That looks okay. Uh, and then we're going to get a copy. So control D for copy and just right arrow key out of the way. And this will become the backdrop. So we want to get rid of these eyes right here. 
Uh, so let's just grab a circle and just draw out a little oblong shape. Now you would think you could do this just by welding this circle in, but you cannot. You need to select everything and go to Union. Or you could go up to Tools, uh, Boolean Assistant right here. And of course, it's on another screen. I've got a lot of screens. Get this over here. And you can scroll over these and you can see what the result would be. So we want union. So select union. Click OK. And remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. So now you want to select everything here. And then you can use weld from there. Uh, and then we'll cut this one out. It'll have the eyes cut out. So if you paint this background uh, a certain color, maybe yellow eyes or something, when you set it on, uh, it'll show through. All right, so now we want to do the corner. So we're just going to grab a square. Hold shift so we can draw out a perfect square. Drop it. Click your selector tool. And we want to make sure that it's on the corner but however much the moon hangs over that's how thick this would have to be so it doesn't uh, impede uh, where the corner where it's going to set so we'll put it about right there for now and we will make this uh, probably about six inches we're going to make it 160 millimeters because that is what I wrote down. So make sure your lock is on. And make it 160. So that is around 6 inches, something close. Uh, so we're going to add a tab to this to make sure it doesn't, uh, to make it more stable. Uh, so you won't have to worry about it falling over. So. Before you weld, select Control D to duplicate, and then go up top where you see the percentages. And whatever percentage you put in here, uh, we'll put uh, 90, which means it's going to reduce that square by 10%. So we're just going to make it 90, make sure the lock is on. And then if you wanted to make sure that your width here was wide enough, you could click the ruler. I'm surprised that wasn't on another screen. I'm going to scroll in a little closer, try to keep it from getting behind my head. But once you click the ruler, uh, whatever shows up purple, it gives you the, the length right here, segment length. But you can also use your mouse and you can drag out and see that that's about eight millimeters wide which should be should be plenty so click OK and now we can select that inner square and then you can grab this bottom corner and just pull it out so it exceeds the corner of that square. Then we can select the first square, shift and select the second square, and then you can go over to the subtract and the modifier tools and get rid of it. And now we can make sure that our moon doesn't go past before we uh, before we weld. So you can just pull it down a little bit. Set it about right there. Select everything. And then click with. Okay, we are almost there, folks. Uh, we're going to put a tab on. So let's just grab a square. 
and just drag out a rectangle. Click your selector tool. We're using a five millimeter Luan plywood hardwood. And uh, I know I use that a lot, but it's a really nice uh, project wood. And I'll put a link so you can go get some if you like. I think you'll enjoy using it. So I'm going to take the lock off and we are going to make this height 4.7. And that'll give a slight kerf adjustment to make sure it fits tight. And then uh, probably use a little glue as well. So then we're just going to grab this and set it in here somewhere. You can grab the bottom edge, hold Alt, and then you can snap it right to the line, wherever you'd like to put it. And there you go. Um, it snaps a lot easier since version uh, 1.6. Just hold that Alt key, and it'll make it. It'll make the snap a lot stickier than it was previously. So now you want to select that Control D, copy, and just pull it down. And this is going to be uh, pointing out, so it gives like a little pedestal for this to for this to set on. So we're going to make that uh, probably about 15, 15 millimeters. That should do it. And they're both 23 wide. That's fine. And then we'll cut this little piece, put it in there. And first, we have to subtract this one from the larger one. So you want to subtract, you want to select what you're subtracting, and then shift and select what you're subtracting from. And then go over and click the subtract button, and there you go. And I think we are ready. To cut this out. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, I'm going to jump in the laser. We'll cut this out and see what it looks like, folks. I'll be right back. Okay, we're uh, framed up and ready to go. So we will send the code over, cut this out, and see what it looks like. Okay, looks pretty good. Let me uh, let me clean this up a little bit, put it together, and we'll get a closer look at it. I'll be right back. Well, here is our finished corner decoration. It turned out pretty good. I would recommend moving that moon to the left a little bit to uh, more evenly distribute the weight. It sits fine, but to be sure, uh, I would move it. So uh, if you give this a try and you have questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll get you an answer. And I will drop links for the uh, the font, which again is 100% free, and you can use any of those characters uh, for any of your Halloween projects. Uh, and if you don't have an art library, I will drop a link for a, a video for how to create one. And I'll also drop a link for the 5mm Luon hardwood plywood, uh, which is a great project material. Uh, but this could be done just as easily with the three millimeter wood or even the uh, two millimeter. It would be fine. So if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. It'll help the channel grow and it'll help me to keep doing this because I like being in the shop and uh, working with light burn and the laser and sharing what I learn with you folks. And it's good when you ask questions and uh, send comments. It helps me as a newbie, but it also helps any of the viewers that come across it, so I appreciate it. So uh, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.